2015 and we're still debating patents we're still working out what should be the processes what will be fast code track I mean in other words there doesn't seem to be uh, true intention to do it uh, speedily uh, so in that sense I'm quite disappointed uh, so India is a developing country which has the rights and obligations of a developing country the challenge here of course is as I said earlier part of my talk was it's a very emotive subject because we still live 18th century and 21st century back to back. Uh, it's a huge market segmentation out there. <clears throat> I don't know why uh, Mr. Mukesh Ambani, and I don't, I'm not saying this behind his back, I've said it to him on his face because he's a good friend, why he should pay 10 rupees a strip for Paris to Mall, which my driver has to pay, because my driver's capacity is obviously much smaller than his. What Mukesh tells me is find a way of getting to me at 25,000 rupees a strip and I'll buy it. Because his headache is much more costly to the nation than my driver's headache. So the challenge today in India is we are subsidizing the rich for the poor. So if you bring this whole thing to the lowest common denominator, there will not be any innovation. Patents will be a far cry. Forget data protection. So, you know, it's, we are really in a situation, for example, to make affordability. <clears throat> we want the government to purchase in bulk even a patented product, negotiate with the patent holder a low price, and then provide it through public hospitals and leave the patent holder to the market supply and demand otherwise. So there are other ways of managing this, including donation programs, public private partnerships, tiered pricing. But the idea is not to decimate a patent. Paint everything as evergreening, and that's not the case. So there is, uh, obviously, I don't want to get into the patent case because Supreme Court has actually uh, taken a call on that. Uh, but clearly, um, it's something which case law will develop over a period of time. Excepting, as you said earlier, uh, it's a speed. I mean, things are really, truly slow. But we also have the oddities, uh, as you saw in the case of Genuvia, uh, uh, for Merck, where the patent has been violated. That's what Merck's, I'm using Merck's language. Because after a four-year, a local state FDA can issue a license, marketing license. Now, which means there will not be a patent life in India beyond four years regardless or what the patent is. And you know, the other point which was made was a patent is a monopoly. I think that's, again, uh, a word which, you know, patent is basically a meaningful exclusionary right for a limited period. Uh, because, you know, without patent, uh, innovation is limited. Uh, people will not have incentives. And earlier somebody said you're locking the doors. But what happened in the old days when the patent system did not exist, people had secrets. They kept it with themselves so that knowledge was not shared. The system of patent actually shares that knowledge and you build on that knowledge. You don't have to copy the knowledge. You build on that knowledge. So, you know, there is lots of things. And again, India, you know, I have, I have great hope because as, this, as somebody said, in India, finally, everything becomes all right in the end. And if it hasn't, then it's not the end. So I think we still have hope.